Okay, the fun can start, meaning we've installed all the software we want. What is all the software? This is all the software. So just take a look at them. These are all the icons and programs that I would like to have. And let's now make our desktop customization. So escape. One of the programs we're gonna need is our tweak tool. And we're gonna put it in favorites. And uh, let's start it. So it's in here already for next time. We are looking at Numix Frost Lite. And we can change that to any of the arc themes. Remember, we copy paste it. A lot of arc themes. Our special kind of arc theme with a special kind of color. And let's take a look what we have. So we could go for an arc red, dim gray, the cow, red, red, and gray, crimson, blue, dim gray, crimson, dark blue. So different kind of possibilities. I'm gonna go for, well, let's take the red one. And now we're gonna go for icons. So they have a lot, Sadi has a lot of icons and even more if you count all the scripts you can make, so as you can see, it's all the same folder, but it's another color. So you can make 16 million kind of uh, coloring. Uh, for these folders, so it's uh, up to you to create such a script. So we're gonna choose something and then we're going ahead. Uh, we always take the same, so I'm gonna take select something I probably don't select, like this one, Sarte Mono. Let's take this one. If we go to home, that's how it looks. Control H, that's the normal look. All right, that's that. Breeze Snow is this white little cursor I like. Numix Frost, the same applies here. We can go for the shell theme. What is the shell theme? This is the shell theme up here. Something changed, all right, when I changed the shell theme up here. So arc is arc. This is the default. As you can see, our crimson is a little bit bigger. What did I do? I changed already the CSS code. So I like the, my arc to be a little bit bigger. So I went inside of the CSS code of the shell and I've changed that. Maybe it's a quick thing, doesn't take a lot of time. So if you make yourself, uh, you make um, a personal arc to arc crimson, for instance, this is the GNOME shell, that's what we're looking at. GNOME shell CSS and I've made it 11 points rather than I think it's eight or, or nine. Okay, so a little bit bigger, so we can read the text here a bit better. So that's, that is actually the shell theme. And let's stay in, in this fashion, yeah, that's nice. Let's keep this. Okay, you can go for a global dark theme as well if you want dark things. Applications need to be restarted for a change uh, to take effect. Okay, you can do this as well, and then we're off to do the rest. What's the rest? Uh, you see this wallpaper, we've seen it in all uh, installations and now these are our icons. I believe we've changed our icons in the meantime. Doesn't really matter, it's just a choice. Sadly Mint X Grey, we just clicked here and that's all that's uh, happened. And now everything is grey again, the monochrome I did see one item I should fix and that's not because of the icon theme, that's more because of the yeah, of our Gnome. Eh? Gnome is calling them in a specific way. So let's fix that first, you go to applications. There is one icon that's out of place, all the rest is circular and gray. This is something else but we don't see it, so we don't care. This one we do see. Open with other application, you change to Sublime Text 3DEF. Scroll all the way down to Icon, 
and this is the problem. It's actually a name for a MIME application, so that's why it looks like that, it's not circular. If we do, I hope I'm correct, um, contact, I don't know, we'll have a look. And you give in your password, it's contact or contacts, and it is contact. And now this little icon is in line with all the rest. So when we go over here and we go to the overview, then it should be now fixed. Here it is, contacts. So that's already cleared. That's that's out of uh, we're out of the woods, like they say, and that's fixed. Next up is a nice wallpaper. Have enough with this blue thing here. Variety is going to provide as well. These are all my personal configurations. I never told him to uh, put my favorites in Dropbox apps desktop. So it's from this config file in the 600 the scripts with number 600. It's in there somewhere. And I like the wallpaper firsthand with all the monochrome icons and the background. It's fine. That's that. What else? We can change as well. And um, a plank is not necessary. If you feel it's necessary, you can change this one. But at this point in time, it would be overkill. You could have a plank here at the bottom, but we do have something similar. So don't need it. What we could really want or could decide to use is the Aureola Conky. And we have here the, um, 17 Conkeys you can install when installing number 300 I think it is you installed the hidden folder Aureola but it's not yet installed so it's not yet uh, it didn't run broken yet so we go to Acres as an example I always use it because it tends to uh, have the largest amount of software to install and here we go don't mind the messages we have here uh, a start for um, some information about the CPU, about the memory, how many processes, if there are packages to be upgraded, which uh, CPU, which process is using our CPU, and so on. All the information is there to just to follow up how is your machine doing. It's not overheating or anything. You can follow up that too. Let's uh, make it even better since, um, well, we're not on. Uh, not on Linux Mint, as you can see up here, we're not on Linux Mint. But while we're here, there is also a conky gray. We have now this wallpaper that we like, and we'd like to have everything in gray, this as well. You can go more, even more in gray, because it is here an, uh, a file ready. We navigate to the .config conky, and this file, this one, is providing this information. I'm going to rename this one. This is the original and I'm gonna change the gray one to the actual conky that's gonna work. So I'm going to a terminal, I'm gonna say kill all the conkeys, not in plural but like so, and then start the conky again and then you'll see that it's all gray and that's been fixed so that we are now in tune. With the rest, we did forget to change the icon, so we go to the logo again, and the logo is down here. Up. Linux Mint, nope, we are on Antegos, and that's quickly changed. And there you go, you have your own system and your own look. You can make it a little bit smaller as well, in width and so on, but that's up to you. So um, we've changed a lot of items already. We are feeling quite at home, but you can do some more. We can go to the tweak tool again and see what you can do more. So desktop, icons on desktop, right mouse click, nothing happens. Display settings, yes, but I want to be able to put icons on my desktop. So now I can do create new folder and, and work on my desktop but I don't want to see this nor this nor that that's that 
extensions. What extensions can you take? You can take an alternate tab. So alt tab, alt tab. We need definitely need some stuff to be open. Um, uh, that's probably enough already. This is alt tab. You want an alternate tab that's going to look like this. Some of you would like an application menu, which is this here. But then you don't have this corner anymore, I believe. Or this, these dots, the three dots, you don't have that anymore. Um, dash to dock. Hello world. Places, if you want that, you can have this too. And you can have many more of these extra programs, but then you have to look on GNOME for extra extensions. Let's first take a look at the rest here. We're working with a specific kind of font. They're using Cantarel Bolt and Cantarel and Sans and Monospace. So again, um, fonts are important. I'm going to show you how that will look if we use not all Sans regular. So you can keep it, the font or you can follow my suggestion and change it. It's up to us really, to every individual, to figure out what he likes. But I'm just showing how it would look if you use the regular one all on top, like so. Monospace is okay and everything, the rest is okay. Keyboards. Mm -hmm. No things. I would like to be able to press the power button and then not suspend, not in hibernate, but just shut down. It's not available. We have the conky that's going to be started automatically and variety is going to be installed. By the way, variety is down here. You probably want to find it here. If it is the first time on GNOME, you'll see this little thing here and you can go down here. In the meantime the wallpaper has changed and you go right mouse click wallpaper selector a lot of wallpapers down here but this is the one we decided to have we close it and we can also say image pause on current lots of tips and tricks for variety but i've um, bundled them in an article about i don't know a dozen tips in an article on editorboard.pe Top bar, show date, show seconds, show week numbers in the calendar then, typing, windows, focus, double click, toggle, maximize, important if you want to do something here with your middle click, never used really, secondary click, the menu, and so on and workspaces dynamic or just static and just one to one and then you wait till everything doesn't crash there you have it i have only one workspace now and two monitors so that's enough so these are some of the items we can change anything else i could um, give as a guideline or a hint I think we should type in settings as well. Take a look at that. Settings. So if anything is not clear, if anything is to be changed, then it's probably here. So you take a look at the settings for the power and settings for sleep and uh, all that. But um, for me, I think we'll better stop the tutorial here.